Yeah, unfortunately, it is, we're experiencing every uh, you know facet of weather we possibly can. It feels like all in one week, so let's talk about it. Right now, we've got snow now showing up. Already seeing some freezing rain pushing into portions of Cross County, so we're going to keep an eye on that. We thought the transition would be happening closer to about 2. Looks like it's happening a little earlier, so that means we could be seeing a little bit more accumulating. So. Not necessarily the news we wanted to see, but here we go with our winter storm morning for the counties in pink. It's going to be Dyer County, Tennessee and Arkansas, Mississippi, Poinsett and Cross County. Those counties in purple under a winter weather advisory, St. Francis and Crittenden County in Arkansas, Tipton and Lauderdale in Tennessee. Basically, if you're in pink, you're going to be seeing more ice. If you're in purple, a little less ice. Now here we go with our actual models that are showing it now a half of an inch near Truman. So that looks like it's clipping portions of uh, Poinsett in Mississippi County. That's pretty concerning. A quarter of an inch is even concerning. Well, any amount of ice is concerning, but a quarter of an inch in Dyer County, even seeing it now slipping into portions where we could see a glaze into portions of northern Shelby County, not Memphis proper, but northern Shelby County. So we're watching that. So here's what you need to know. Ice and sleet today and tonight in northeastern Arkansas and northwest Tennessee up to about five or uh, I mean half an inch or more possible accumulation. The problem with that is that half an inch is 500 pounds of pressure on a power line. It can snap it easily. So we could be dealing with uh, power outages uh, widespread in those areas as well as travel becoming incredibly dangerous and ill advised. So we'll see probably a lot of roadways closed because of trees coming down, etc. Now we also have this flood watch for the rest of our Tennessee counties, including Shelby that goes in through Friday morning because of the amount of rainfall that we could see. We could see some very heavy pockets of rain that are possible over the next two days. My bigger concern will be the oversaturation of soil after all the rain we saw yesterday and then the rain that we see today and tomorrow that could easily easily partnered with our winds, bring down our trees, power lines, and then we could see more flooded roadways like we we're already seeing today. So a whole lot going on. Basically, again, like I said, all of it at once. So here's a look at your hour by hour. Again, seeing that switch over, seeing the freezing rain. Again, freezing rain is going to look like regular rain, but when it hits, the top of your car or raised surface, you'll see those little bursts, starburst of um, icicles. That's basically what it does. It freezes on on impact, whereas sleet, you'll hear it and see it, and you'll see both of those likely in this uh, this system. Otherwise, everyone else just cold rain. We see that continue some of that a little bit heavier than the other. We could even hear some thunder sleet. Yeah, but we may start a band here, call it thunder sleet. As we get through the rest of the day, you see how heavy that rain is as we head into the overnight hours into Thursday. Uh, that's why when we start to sit into the rest of Thursday afternoon, we start to see that chance for those heavy pockets of rain where we could see some of that flooding concern. Now, as far as what's going on outside your door right now, well, very windy conditions still coming in almost due north with gusts over uh, 10 to 15 over 20 miles an hour. So that is creating wind chill that is very uncomfortable. So right now it feels like 27. It's actually 35 at Memphis International, anywhere from still the teens in Jonesboro uh, to 34 is what it feels like in Corinth. So it's going to be cold no matter where you're at. So make sure you bundle up as you get out and about. Now your seven day forecast not getting much better. Unfortunately, you say we say in the 40s lows dipping below freezing for several days. It won't be until next week. On Tuesday, we finally do something right. Look, the exact average 57 and 38. We have to wait till Tuesday to get there, but we'll keep tracking it. All right, sounds good, Chels. Thanks. Well, to get weather alerts sent right to your phone, just download our free ABC 24 app. We'll send you alerts as soon as a warning is issued for your area, and you can watch all of our live, our newscast streamed live. Just search ABC 24 in your app store.